This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 138 for Tuesday, January 20th, 2015. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Welcome. I forgot my props. You forgot your props? I can put them on. My you got props? I got props. You want to see them? I have no idea what you're talking about, so this is news to me. Oh, I don't know where I could put them. Hang on. I'll, I'll ad lib here while uh, Lisa find <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I got mad props, man. You got mad props. Uh, and while while Lisa's doing whatever silly thing she's doing, um, this is the post Philadelphia Times <laughs> show edition. Oh my okay. lord. <laughs> That's better now. <laughs> what? It's bright in here. <laughs> okay, right. I can't believe it. I went to the eye doctor today. My pupils have been dilated. Um, it's really kind of bright in my office. And, they, you know, they give you these shades, and they're so ugly. <laughs> I just figured I'd get some use out of them. Come on, somebody in the chat, tell me they're cool. Stop, help me out. Oh, it's not oh like my I can Lord. read anything, but... You, you look like... Oh, I don't know. I look like one of those blue hairs, right? Like one of these, oh my... Just kind of, kind of wiggle your head around. Oh, that's Stevie go. Wonder. I can't get it right. Stevie Wonder. I'm so. Oh. It's bright, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> so, yeah, it's been a busy couple days. We got home from the show. I can't see. We're all good. No. Show was phenomenal. It was it was a really fun show. It really was. It was. Um, Steph, you rock for the donuts. Yeah, Steph is awesome. And Steph, thank you for dinner. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> because a good friend would just say thank you. It would just say thanks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So Philadelphia was great. We left um, Thursday afternoon so that we could arrive uh, Friday morning just in time to unpack and uh, get settled. Yeah, it was about what? Uh, did we get there about 9? 10. 10. We, we actually, yeah. we, it's about 8 o'clock. You know, we were an hour and a half, not even an hour and a half out, and um, just couldn't do it. We had to pull yeah. over. Yep. <laughs> Needed a little nap, <laughs> but it took us through the whole day. So, um, Although I, I will say that any of you who were at the Philadelphia Penn Show on Friday and spoke with us, we don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't really remember much of the day. <laughs> we were zombies. And to top it all off, uh, the, the, the biggest thing, okay, so now this year uh, the Philadelphia Show was one floor higher than it was last year. So the first thing we do is, is we've got a routine now for Philly because we've gone a couple years in a row. It's our uh, third year now? Fourth year? Third. Mm -hmm. um, third year. And uh, so we, instead of going to the front and parking out front and unloading, we just go to the loading dock or the parking ramp. We put everything on our cart and then we take it up the elevator and we go in. And so we do that and we go to the mezzanine, which is the second floor, and we get up and nobody's there. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. We walk Nobody into the ballroom, no there. tables, <laughs> no nothing. And so I'm a little nervous because just a week ago, who was it? Was it Bill? Mario. Mario was saying, hey, listen, you, you're going to be waiting a long time if you go on you know, this the weekend of 17th. Uh, and I'm thinking, did we go the wrong weekend? Oh, no, 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 we would not do that. We're pretty good about that. Uh, as it turns out, we, I forgot the the show was actually on the third floor, the ballroom floor, um, and so that was great. We got up there, and for whatever reason, the ballroom floor was like 85 degrees, no joke, all weekend. Um, um, Sunday was finally a little better, but Friday and Saturday were really... Friday was the worst, I thought. Friday was Incredibly really bad. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, and Saturday wasn't much better. No, Sunday it was wasn't. A little cooler. Yeah. I'm usually cold, and I usually have a sweater on. And um, yeah, I took my sweater off, and I don't usually do that. It was just hot. It was it was uncomfortable. Yeah. 
So the heat was the biggest thing, uh, and sadly, I think on Sunday it was even hotter out in the hallway. So um, yes, poor Adam was. Poor just Adam from uh, Bertram's Inkwell was just dying out there. Um, but you know what are you going to do? So um, there it was. There was the heat. Um, so we started getting everything set up. It's a little different setup this year. Uh, a little different position. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. We were down further than we were last year, which I, I preferred the position we had last year. But, uh, right yep. the corner, but it worked we'll out. Um, we got most everything set up on on Saturday and or Friday, Friday. And uh, it was. I thought that there was really good traffic and. Um, uh, a lot of people stopped by, asked questions, got to play with pens. Um, I, I thought that business was really pretty brisk, all things considered. Yeah, traffic was good. There was a lot of people interested. I think, you know, being the first show of the year, I think people are itching just to get out. Um, even if it is still January, people are itching to get out and, and look at pens. Because if, if, especially for those that do the show circuit, you've got a two-month time off. But uh, if you don't, then it's even longer. So uh, we all want to get back to... So looking at pens, and we kept, and we I don't think we bought much on the first day, as I recall. Was that the day we bought the pens we're going to talk about? I, I, I don't, like I said, I don't remember much about Friday, but I do remember walking past this particular set about a half a dozen times thinking, oh, you know, you know what we should tell? There's a funny story before we, we talk about that. Okay. So we get in. We find out it's on another floor, third trip, keys to the car, get lost. My fault. They, they're they on a, a ring that I keep on my key ring, um, and the ring, it's, it's, I don't know what they're called. Um, they open. They're supposed to open and close. Somebody help me out and tell me what they're called. Um, but uh, yeah, they they just came off. It came undone, and it came off. And uh, turns out that it, and I had the the whole key ring. I carry too many keys. Um, were in my hand as we were bringing one of the carts upstairs, and it just fell off. And so you know, Brian's down at the car, and we've borrowed a cart from someone. So <laughs> Brian's got two carts, so we can make fewer trips. And I run upstairs. I check with the concierge check at the front desk, go upstairs. Someone had just turned them into Bert, so whoever that was, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. It would have been kind of a disaster because we, we, we only had two loads of stuff uh, actually up at the tables, and um, we, we, you know, we had AAA that would have gotten us there, but it would have gotten us there considerably later. But, but I don't think you had your keys with you. No, my yeah, keys so. were here at home, so it was no good. Um, yeah, so that was our little panic. Um, little panic. No, not a carabiner. Those would have actually been much sturdier. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but it anyway. fell off. Yeah, it fell off. So uh, <laughs> that was our first little panic. So um, anyway, we, we, we're walking by, and one of the tables that we had to walk by is, is Jimmy Dolop, our good friend uh, from Total Losses Jimmy. Products. Uh, and Jimmy's just he's just so much fun to talk to, and uh, uh, Jimmy has offered uh, a lot of uh, good help and good advice to us. Uh, as we have undertaken our our uh, our store, but he had the set sitting on his table, and it was just right as you walked past it, and I saw it right away. I said, "Man, that's pretty," and uh, and just starting to melt. And uh, uh, it, it came in a box that looks like this, and maybe we'll just just tease you with that for a little bit. A brown box. It says, uh, "What does that say in there, honey? I can't." It says, it. "Gorgeous." That's what it, it says, says. "Gorgeous" in gold lettering. Yes, it says amazing writer, gorgeous pen. Amazing writer, yeah. Um, and actually, I'll show you the, the box. This is really kind of a cool box. There's a profile. It's different than the new than the new ones. Okay, it's different than the new ones. And for those of you Which, listening well, to the audio podcast, you're wondering, you're just saying, Brian, tell me what the heck it is. Um, it's an old old style sailor box, and it's got this this funky funky like velvet. It's like a flocked velvet kind of thing, it's, and it's got a. Um, it's not just a rectangular box. It's got kind of a. It's a hump no, back. It's got a little bit of a, a slope cool. to it. It's really, really funky. Really, really funky. So, you open it up, 
and and this is this is what I see in the box. The inside is like this tan, kind of reminiscent of the the, the Waterman, the current Waterman boxes. But I open it up and I see this. And I'm gonna hold that up there for a little bit just so Wayne can see it. Um, maybe a little bit closer. Uh, can uh, you see that gorgeousness right there. It just it just sends chills I down your spine. The uh, and and some of you will recognize this. They will, but, but you know, Brian, you, it's it's the Lapis Magellan. It's a fountain pen and rollerball set um, with the original style nibs. And uh, not just three weeks ago, we got this, which is the same pen. Um, and I got the green. And Lisa got the lapis, or the, uh, the you got the, the jade. lapis. I got the jade. The jade and. Um, we saw this set, and, 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 and the ones we got, we didn't get with the nibs, so we, we had current nibs put in them, but these have the original nibs uh, with the matching rollerball. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, but the color on we're these... We're going to sell it. Yeah, well, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, we're going to sell it. We're going to do something. Uh, the, color, <laughs> the color on mine is just... I mean, it's it's almost imperceptible, but uh, there's a little little bit of... I mean, it's, it's, I'm making a bigger deal out of it than it is. It's, it's, it's like you 99%. Um, so anyway. Um, there, it's a gorgeous set, and the price was right, so we snatched it up because I don't. Brian doesn't think we're going to sell it. I think we're going to sell it, but I just couldn't leave it on Jimmy's table. He says well, he's been carrying it around for two years, and I think he's a liar because I would have remembered seeing it. I th I think yeah I, I he is a liar I I can't I can't believe it yeah he, I've never seen that no let's let's clarify yeah. Jimmy Dolan is the world's most honest man we're not he actually is, calling is. him a liar but he says he's been bringing this thing to every show for the last two years and I do not remember seeing it and one of us if not absolutely both of us would have remembered and said something if we had seen this gorgeous sailor set so I think that he's confused. So because what I, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my pen, and the one that I just it? got, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous, and it writes like a dream. Um, and I'm going to keep the Magellan set. Are you going to use the rollerball? I, I don't know, but I have it. <laughs> it's there. Um, it comes in the. In fact, I think. I'm looking at the box here. The box has got the original barcode and everything on it. Um, the box is actually for the rollerball. Okay. I don't know. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous set. And then in, in well, Jimmy came up with one price, and then about an hour later, the price was about 25 percent less. Well, he told me what his first. <laughs> he was the rollerball. I'm shocked he's still in business. He, uh, I saw it and I said, okay, you know, what are you asking for it? I want it. And he gave me a price, and then he said, well, what do you want to pay for it? And I'm like, that's a fair price. And went back and talked to Brian, and we got distracted with other things, and then we went back. And <laughs> well, actually, 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 the way it happened, I think, the second time around that we went back, uh, mm -hmm. you, we were walking into the room for some reason, and you, you ended up stopping to talk with, with Jonathan Belly, uh, the current uh, PCA editor, uh, the editor of The Pennant. Um, and uh, you were talking with him, and I'm looking over at the sailor again, and, and all the other stuff that Jimmy's got on this little corner of his table, which is his little clearance table, and there was another box there that I believe you have handy, maybe? I do. Everybody yeah, ready I for this? And, and, and I ask him the price, and he tells me, and I, I like hang on to it. I'm not letting anybody else get this, and here is what Lisa gets. See that? It's a pilot. It's a pilot. It's this gorgeous. What is that color? It's just uh. It's called gorgeous. It's well, yeah, it is gorgeous. I, I even like it. It's a light blue, bluish. Yeah, it's a, a dusty light blue with purple undertones. Um, and it is the, of course, it's it's the metal, metal falcon, um, with the uh, soft medium nib, uh, stickered yeah, it's in the so box. So pretty. Uh, nice, nice looking pen. Um, and Jimmy says, okay, well, you, you can take it for this price. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it. And then I, I asked him about the, the Magellan set, and uh, he says, well, you know, if you buy that, I'll give it to you for this price. And then on top of that, 
um, I asked if he had any extra nibs because I thought, well, if he's got, because I see he had a little box full of nibs. I said, do you have any extra of the, of the older style sailor nibs? And he says, well, I do. Because I thought, well, I'll put them in the Magellans that we just bought. And sure enough, Jimmy's got like two extra 21 carat uh, nibs. One a zoom, one a medium fine. Um, and he tells me the price. And I'm like, okay, we're taking it all. Yep. <laughs> Wrap it up, baby. Um, so I may, I may take the zoom nib. I'm thinking of taking the zoom. I and, think you should uh, take the zoom because the others are medium fine, which would be perfect. It's perfect for you. Um, right. It would be, it would be actually, because I don't think you have a medium fine yet. Uh, I do. You do? In my, in my uh, sky. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you had a, a, a fine in that. No. You're holding back on me. Well, anyway. So right there at Jimmy's table, two sailors, a Palkin, a uh, Palkin, pilot, pilot Palkin, and uh, two two nice nice sailor nymphs we can add to the collection right away. Boom, done. Um, that was kind of fun. It's fun shopping at Jimmy's table. I mean, we don't usually do that, but um, we did, and there it was. Um, what else did we buy? Well, we. Uh, we got a couple things. I don't know if you want to talk about it now or you want to talk about it later and what's going on, but uh, we'll I have it listed. It. Yeah, right. okay. I think you deleted so, it, actually, off of the... Oh, sorry. Off the sheet. You deleted it. <laughs> I could undo it. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you undo that? All right. <laughs> I so, wrote it down. There you go. Um, Friday set up. Uh, shopping was brisk. Um, selling was brisk. Uh, it was great to see uh, tons of people, um, which we'll get to in just a minute. And uh, what else did we do? Not everybody was there um, yet, and some people were concerned because there were a number of empty tables. But, you know, Friday, if people are working or whatever, um, I thought that Saturday everything was pretty full. Yeah, Saturday, was, Saturday definitely was full. I, I would say it's about two-thirds full on Friday. Um, but yeah. uh, the nice thing about going to a Penn show on Friday, for those of you who have not been, going to a show on a non-weekend day, or what sometimes they call it a non-public day, is is awesome in more ways than one. Number one, there are usually, for those vendors that are there, are there, there are more pens to look at. Now, there may not necessarily be more vendors, but the good stuff is sold before it ever gets to public, usually. Yep. Uh, and the other, the other great thing about going on a non-public day is you actually have time to talk to people. Yes. Get up, you can walk around, you can find the deals, you can, you know, you got a question about something, great. You know, let's let's see what you got, let's take a look at it, let's adjust those times, let's do whatever. Um, we we did, actually, we did quite a bit of shopping on Friday. Yeah, we did, we did. We bought, we bought a significant amount of stuff on Friday. And then well, it was it was kind of kind of a little. It kind of freaked me out a little bit because it was like one thing after another coming to the table. Um, uh, we should mention uh, our good friend Bob Everett. Oh, oh, well, th no, the stuff that was delivered to the table I had ordered. I'm talking well, about the things that we went and picked out. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I'm all about the square inches, and we had a big, huge. To fit into the car, we had big, huge boxes of pen flush brought to us. We had um, several huge boxes of leather delivered, and then Bob Everett um, brought over this big box. Uh, that and we knew this was coming, but I sort of forgot about I it. For <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and he was more than more than excited to get rid of this thing. He was. He's so uh, sweet. Bob. Bob's a great guy. Um, and for those of you who remember or have seen the, 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 the walkthrough, the virtual tour of the store, we have two of the very large, they're about, what they're are they about? 18 inches high. 15, 18 inches tall, 18. ceramic um, uh, statues. They're point of, point of purchase, point of sale um, statues that Schaefer made in the 40s uh, for different gift-giving occasions, wedding, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, Christmas. Um, and they're very, they're highly collectible. We have two of them. Uh, and when we bought the second one in Columbus, uh, Bob Everett, who sold it to us, said, well, I've got one more. 
and I'm tired of lugging it around. So as soon as I get it back from being restored, you want to buy it, it's yours. So we picked up the third one in our collection. The um, This one is Mother's Day, is that right? Or Father's Day? Father's Day. We, so we had the, the Happy Couple, which we won in yeah. Columbus last year. Not Two years ago. Year. Yeah. And then, um, well, a year ago and a couple months. And then this past Columbus show, we picked up the uh, Mother's Day, and then he brought the Father's Day to us uh, in Philly. Yep. So yeah, we're we're yeah. excited to have it. So and that, and of course now now that we have three, we have to go try to find. That's a collection. It, it, three is definitely a collection. <laughs> three is a collection. Um, and and Bob made it very clear to me, because I, I I've been I've been talking to to, to some people. I talked to uh, Dan Kirchheimer, um, and uh, and even George George Romakis, who I think I, I saw in the chat. Um, trying to figure out exactly how many of these things they made. Uh, right now, we can only come up with five. Um, that may be it. I don't know if Somebody there's more. Somebody said there were six. I thought I remember there were six. I can't remember what the sixth is. Uh, we so should we're missing call Dan or Roger Wooden or something. He would Roger. know. Roger. Okay. So Dan Dan Kirchheimer couldn't remember. Um, Dan Reppert may know. Dan might. I thought I asked him though. He couldn't remember either. But I, I don't remember seeing them anywhere. I mean, I haven't done extensive research, but you, you can't. They're not in like magazines. Or or, or, yeah, you, you can't find them. Um, so anyway, we got to find the other two. But Bob made it very clear to me. He said that if he ever finds the Christmas one, and the Christmas one is reported reportedly to be the largest of the collection. It's like mm -hmm. two or three times as wide. I mean, it's huge. Yeah. It's you know this big, gigantic, monstrous thing. He says if he ever finds the Christmas one. He says there is no way he will ever sell it to us. <laughs> <laughs> he says you're not getting that one. Thanks, Bob. We appreciate Thanks, Bob. it. All right. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. Uh, I, I will admit that uh, by the time uh, the show closed Friday evening, we were done. <laughs> we were fried. We uh, had dinner plans. We we were lucky enough to be able to um, take everything up to the room and lay down for about, what, 20 minutes, half an hour? Yeah, I think it was about 20 minutes. We said, it, was yeah, awesome. it was awesome. <laughs> it was so yeah. nice. Yeah, so. And um, uh, we went and had a really lovely meal. And it was at fun. A place I can't remember. <laughs> it was some Italian place. <laughs> uh, Steph, I'm sure we'll, we'll type it in the chat here in a minute, but we had uh, dinner with Steph. Um, it was, you know, if I'd known how good the dessert was, I would have just had dessert, like had dessert four first. servings of dessert. Oh my god, to yeah, death! Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Um, but you know, it was fun to drive through the city or to be driven through the city um, and see things we saw last year, and to kind of have a now, don't misunderstand. I have no clue where we were, and I have no clue how to get back <laughs> from where we were back to the hotel. But we saw a number of landmarks that we recognized from last year, so that was it. Was kind of fun to um, to now have been there a couple times in a row. Um, and you know, we travel so much that there are certain things we see on our travels. Like when we go to Dallas, we see the Big Chief Indian in Big Chief. Is it Big Chief, Oklahoma? Yeah, I think so. And you know the on the way to uh, DC, there's this radio station with a funny name, and and you know all of this cool stuff. So um, it was it was nice to actually recognize landmarks. Yeah. And yeah, oh, like you. oh, down the block is this, and oh look, there's Independence Hall. That means this is right over there, and it was kind of cool. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I don't remember what time we got back, but uh, I don't know. We Saturday started morning started early. early. Um, it did. We had a, a nice breakfast. We did, and, and we met our favorite. Here, here you go. Food reference. I think we had a food reference earlier. Food um, reference. If you go to Philadelphia, there is a waiter in the Ed. restaurant for Ed. His name is Ed. Yep, uh, for breakfast. Um, and he always, he, he's the funniest guy ever. He always <laughs> asks if you want prune juice. You want prune juice this morning? Like, no, no, Ed, I, I don't want prune juice. I didn't want it last year. I didn't want it the year before. I don't want it this year. And, <laughs> well, and come he, on. He's just, 
Well, they're straight. How, how can you not like prune juice? What do you have against prune juice? You have some prune juice. Why don't you want some prune juice? And, and he points he points over to this guy that's sitting like <laughs> some other guy. Look. Yeah, he goes, this guy over here, he had prune juice. He was six hundred pounds a month ago or something like that. You know, I was like, oh geez, <laughs> come on, man. He's he's a trip. <laughs> yeah, so it's always good to see him. It's it's like when we go to Dallas, it's always awesome to see uh, our our favorite bartender Ben. Um, at the yep. Dallas Hotel, and um, just feisty and spunky, and uh, she's a trip. And uh, Nicole in the uh, Philly Hotel Bar, she yep. certainly holds her own. And yep. um, you know, so you you have these these fixtures on the show circuit, and uh, Ed is one of them. He's just you, you can't help but smile when you're talking to him because he's just so funny. Yep. And, he, and he, he's, he's a good he's a good waiter too. I mean, he takes care of he's you. He's excellent. Yes. Yeah, he knows he knows he, he knows in advance. He goes here here's some cups because you know you're gonna need it in the in the show. And yeah. I don't know how I don't know how he remembers us. You know, he only sees us like two days out of the year, and then you, you get there next year, and he remembers you. So. You know. Maybe because everybody else takes the prune juice and we don't. I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe next year I'm gonna I'm gonna screw with him and I'm gonna take it. Really. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I never had prune juice. <laughs> well, maybe you don't like fruit, though. I'll try it. I'll take one for the team. You take one for the team. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. But, so uh, Saturday was uh, about eighty-four degrees instead of eighty-five. Oh, um, although it was I had, so hot. yeah, like on Friday though, I had like a t-shirt, I had a long sleeve shirt, and then I had and a sweater. And you had a sweater, on. yeah. You know, so at I least we were a little more prepared yeah. for the heat. Um, I thought Saturday was really pretty good. We got to see quite a lot of people. Um, it was pretty busy for a while. Yep, yep. Uh, and of course, Steph was there. Thank you, Steph, for helping you, out. Steph. Um, Steph's our hero. He is. We love Steph. Uh, we can't say enough good things about her. Oh, she's awesome. Well, we could, but we'd be here all night. Well, we would. Yeah, we don't want to do that. But, but you know, there are so many awesome people who we see. You know, like in L.A., it was so awesome last year to be able to hang out with Paul so much at the show, yep. mm -hmm. and you know, so each show and and you know, Long Island, we're going to see Jenny again. That was awesome to do dinner and and have funny <laughs> funny memories of, you know, going to different restaurants, following the waiter down the wrong aisle, oh and you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. And it's just for me, it's probably the best part about shows is the people and to be able to go and, and hang out and you know this time we got to spend um, quite a bit of time with Tarumi and yep. that was cool and um, you know so it's each a show decent picture too yeah yeah each show brings <laughs> us to you where we get to hang out for a little while yep. so, so but yeah Steph was jumping behind the table helping out when we got super busy and um, she was having a good time and wicked sense of humor that stuff well, you know, also was uh, I don't know oh, if she was procrastinating. She was procrastinating. Oh yes, yes. She was supposed to be studying, and you know, it's pen show. What are you going to do? Study pen show? Pen show one. Um, Saturday, of course, was the auction. I don't know if there's anything significant we want to discuss uh, about Saturday. I'm you know, looking around here. It was interesting to me. Um, I worked it again. I like to work the, the auctions. It's fun. Um, Usually, I'm giving you the look that says, "Don't even think about buying on that." Oh my! Bidding on that. Goodness. But this time, you were hesitating, and I was just like, "Bid it up! Come on, bid on it! You want that? Bid it! Bid it!" Next time, I'm just gonna bring my number and just start bidding. Well, well, we'll we'll get to we'll get to that in a minute. But there was, uh, yes, that, that did happen. Believe it or not, I was stopping bidding, and Lisa was giving me the evil eye. And if you've never had Lisa give you the evil eye, before, <laughs> let's put it this way: uh, when your spouse gives you the evil eye, that's what it looks like. So, um, what are you saying? I'm just saying that if you give me the evil eye, then I'm I'm obeying. So, saying. awesome. I remember. Um, that. So I, I I looked at the preview. I think Friday, because uh, it was just just a table down, two two, two tables down from us. Uh, May hoarders were doing the auction. Um, I don't know where Gary Garnum was this year, um, but uh, Terry Terry was doing it, and Ben 
And, uh, and they had a nice spread, really, really nice spread of, of pens, uh, some fresh stuff. Um, last year there were a couple items that got kind of moved from auction to auction. It, you know, it, it got a little stale, but there was some nice sort of fresh like John stuff. Holland. What's it? Like John <laughs> sort of like yeah. John Holland. Yeah, yeah, maybe not as bad as that, um, but uh, it was really cool. So there's there's some cool stuff, and I was tired, so I didn't really look at it all. Saturday comes, and uh, I decide, well, I'm gonna look. I, we kind of look briefly look through the the list. We had dinner in the um, in the hotel, in the bar, uh, which was okay. Um, and uh, we looked through the list, and uh, Lisa went to go take care of the bill, and Steph and I went up to the the auction. And so I, I go and I look, and there's a couple pieces I'm interested in. So I write them down just as I, I normally do. And we're getting to the auction. We get into about number 40. And all of a sudden they come up, you know, it's Estherbrook Demonstrator. I'm like, okay, so I, I make it clear that the pen that they were they were auctioning off actually was an Estherbrook CX100. It's a cartridge pen. They actually made it in a clear version. That was not a demonstrator pen. It was not a salesman sample type thing. This was actually just like the Schaefer um, school pens. School pens. Yeah, they, they made it in a clear version. So it was a regular, it was not a demonstrator pen. There no premium to be applied to this, although it's much m more uncommon to find it in this configuration than, you know, the other, the solid colors. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, I, I didn't need it. I have one, one or two. Uh, and we go through a couple, and I look down on the list, and I see, again, Estherbrook Demonstrator. I'm like, I have no idea what this is. I have not seen this. Um, and, of course, Rick Krantz is up there, and he's showing the pens, and he's walking. There was a little, kind of a weird weird layout. It was all kind of yeah, horseshoe, it was a little odd. horseshoe, so there was no, you know, normally it's like two sets, and then there's an aisle down the middle, and so then whoever's parading the pens just goes from side to side, and and the bidding starting, and Rick goes, decides this time to go instead of down our aisle, go down the other aisle, and come back, and I'm like, I have no idea what this is. And he brings it over, and I see it, because I hadn't seen it in the preview, and sure enough, it's an actual demonstrator pen. Um, and for the life of me, now we've only been home for 28 hours, so I haven't had a chance to, to do any research, but this is very similar to, uh, similar, but not exact. Um, it's a very scarce pen, similar to the Estherbrook Converter line. If some of you are familiar with that particular pen, uh, it has a gorgeous cap. It looks like uh, it's a kind of like a Cicela cap. Uh, it's like the Phaeton 300 cap, but mm -hmm. cross hatched with gold, uh, like gold plating inside the, cro the the hatching. It's very, very, very distinctive, very attractive. Um, Looking pen, and then it's it's a felt tip. Yes, I, it doesn't have a nib, right? Um, but it's a, it's a transparent <laughs> barrel. Um, so it's it, it is a demonstrator. Um, I actually only have one of these pens in my collection, so this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I I had no idea it was even in the auction, so I did get that. Um, you were bid on some stuff too, weren't you? So you kind of raised your hand. Like you just like to play. Um, I did. You know, there are some things that um, you know are going to go for a lot of money, and sometimes it's fun just to be like the first or the second bidder, knowing you're immediately going to get outbid. But you know, you, you just got to play just once. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, um, there were there were a number of nice nice hard rubber pens. There were a number of nice Victorian items. Um, some dip pens that were just amazing. Number mm -hmm. number seven size, number eight size. Uh, really cool markings on them. Neat holders. Uh, there was a beautiful grease jobber, uh, agates holder uh, with with the dip pen. Um, I forget what the number seven size was, but it was a very very cool, uh, very cool dip pen. Very very nice. And that went for pushing 200, I think, on that one. 190, I think it sold for. Um, but I did manage to score, and this is something that's been kind of on my wish list for a number of years. Um, if you can see it here, there's two here. These are McKinnon stylographs. These are, and, and George will probably correct me if I'm wrong, I think we, we discussed these are about 1860-ish, uh, somewhere in that, that time frame, 1870. Uh, but the thing about these, and I'll show you, this is, this is the better one of the two. 
Um, they have this cute little cap right here. And in this particular example, it's gold filled. Uh, and, but you, you would take it off and then you put it on this little stub on the back end and that's where how you post it. But it's a stylograph. Uh, fills via eyedropper. Um, but almost all the time you find them, the cap is gone because it's just little tiny nothing. Um, but so now I have I have two McKinnon stylographs in my collection. It's kind of nice. And they went for a reasonable price too. There's the other one. They had tires back then. They had tires back then. You betcha. Alrighty. Um, so was that? And um, do we win anything else? Oh yeah. Well, okay. So uh, before we get to Lisa giving me the evil eye, uh, we were <laughs> and I was I was we were in the Steph and I were in the second row, uh, and. And you know they they maneuvered it so that I couldn't see either of them very well. Most of the time, I can see both of them to help keep them both in line. And this time, they were both kind of blocked by I could see between them. And you yeah. know, once in a while, they they put their heads together and and chat about something, but I could see neither of them very well, which I thought was not very good placement. It's hard to give somebody the evil eye when you can't see them. Uh, George says 1870s, and he thinks it's patented in 1872. So that's uh, for those listening. Um, uh, although mine might be a little bit later than that. So, uh, but still early, but old. Um, so anyway, this item comes up for sale, and it was kind of funny because Ben left it in his room. And now, why was it in his room, and why wasn't it with the rest of the stuff? I mean, that, to me, that's a little odd. I don't know. I, I don't know. But it, it, it was in Ben's room, and he's trying to describe this. It's this. It's this notebook. It's, this. it's it's about this big by this high, and it's it's like got some paper in it, but it's not written on it. But it's sort of leather, and it's yeah. old, and it's you know it's like this, but it's sort of narrower than an eight five by seven. I mean, you know. Yeah, and and he's trying to describe the, um, you know, it's it sort of as it's not a spiral. It's got. I think it's got some rings. It's it's kind of bound in there, and and you know it's beyond vague. Yeah. Um, and it sounded cool, but you know who knows? Like he's going off memory, and and you know there's you, you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't do anything. But they're gonna sell it. So yeah, and and, and it sounds cool. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, and I think I may have mentioned this stuff is. A, all the time they're wasting trying to describe this stinking thing, Ben could have run up to his room and gotten it and yeah. come back down. Or they could have put it at the end of the auction and moved on or whatever. But anyway, so they started to, to bid on it, and Lisa and I are going back and forth. We're kind of, you know, we're doing the, we're talking, but we're not talking kind of thing. Yeah. You want to bid on it? We should. It sounds cool. I mean, you know, right, how bad exactly. can it be, you know? And finally, and, and all this time, I, I wouldn't even really pay attention to the bidding, and, and all of a sudden, Steph raises her card. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I started laughing, <laughs> and apparently um, it was getting toward the end of the bidding, and she decided that since she saw the two of us, she had it with us, and she was just going to bid. Yeah, yeah, she had had it up, <laughs> and she was going to bid, and uh, and here it is a, a, as a gift. Like um, with the two of you indecisive fools. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here you go. Uh, it is it's really neat. It says property W A Schaefer Pen Company on the top, uh, and it's a it's a leather. Real thick leather, and it, and it flips upward, and it's got you know it's got your little cool. plastic tab, and then it has some old, old loose leaf, and a really interesting uh, loose leaf too, because it's rounded on one side and square on the other. Uh, yeah, there's nothing cool. in it. There's no writing. There's no markings uh, on the back. Last a, will and testament of W. A. Schaefer. You know, I was thinking about doing a rubbing. You know, see if I could pull something off. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, it's interesting. I just noticed this uh, on the back. It says uh, "IP Loose Leaf, patent December twentieth, oh four to December twelfth, oh five." So I don't. We don't know how old it is. It's, it's old, of course. It's cool. Um, it's a it's a cool piece. It's thick. You can just kind of see it. It's about a about a half inch thick, maybe. Um, it's got some wear on the top, but it could have been in the shop. It could have been. Who knows? I mean, it could have been Walter Shapers. Or we don't know. Um, purely speculative, but a very, very cool piece. We're going to put it up in the store. Um, and, uh, and, and just another another cool piece of ephemera. So thanks, Steph. All right. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Uh, what else? 
Sunday, we bought more stuff. Oh, I got a pen. I forgot about this. I sort of got a pen. Well, you know, Sunday's usually slower. And <laughs> when we were having breakfast, uh, Sunday morning, we had breakfast with um, our dear, dear friends from Kenro, uh, with Denine and Ryan. And um, Ed did not wait on us on Sunday morning, so it was a little sad. But um, there was a, a huge pileup on one of the expressways. And so all these flights are canceled, the bridges are closed, these highways are closed, everybody's freaking out. Um, so Sunday was not as well attended as it probably would have been if not for the weather. Um, but uh, we took advantage of it and went shopping again. And yeah, we did. We did. Well, you know, it's, it's an opportunity we only get 12 or 15 times a year. Yeah, I know. Just but, a few times a year. Um, every four weeks. Not everybody is at all the shows. It's not guaranteed that any one vendor or, or organization will be at every single show. And so when you can find something cool, something new, um, we take advantage of it. So we, we, yeah, we spent some more money. We bought more stuff. Well, but We got some cool stuff. Well, Denise made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So we were, we were picking up some stuff. For the for, for the website and for the store, and then she pulls out this. You know, she's got a, a big forty-eight wow. pen case, and she's got stuff in. And we're like, okay, we'll take all these and these and these. And, these. and then she pulls out this little. It was what a twelve pen case. I think so. It was little. It was, it was yeah, it was a little little. It was um, the special one. It was the special ones, and, and in it on one. I don't. I don't even know what was on the left side. I think the left side was empty, but there was like yes. six Schaefer legacies. Pretty. And I love these things. I, th I, I think they're they're perfect size, they're perfect girth, posted, they're a decent length. Uh, it, it, it's the nib is so beautiful, um, you know that inlaid nib, uh, and and she had one there. Uh, Who's calling silver, your name? Sterling silver with gold fill trim. Look at this thing. Uh, a nice, I don't know what kind of pattern you call that on there. Um, I have to look it up. It's gorgeous. It's it's unbelievable. Um, nice inlaid nib. You know, classic Schaefer, uh, medium point. Um, and she made me this ridiculous offer, and then I stood there, and then she dropped the price again. I think uh, I don't remember. I was just starstruck by it, and so I took it. So um, it's supposedly for the store. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it makes it to the store. But. Um, but, you know, Kenro is there, Yaffa was there, and it's a perfect time to um, see some of the new things and to pick them up um, so that we don't have to wait for things to be shipped. Um, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, we are, first and foremost, collectors. And so whenever we can get something for our own collection or when, you know, we want to see it, hold it, touch it, test it, just like you all do, and you yep. know, shows are a perfect opportunity. There are things that we we get notice of from manufacturers, but and sometimes we want to see it first. And yeah, uh, they had a killer Omos there, the new Paragon, that black one with a matte black finish. Don't you already have a collection of Paragons? Well, I, I only have three. That's a collection. I Good don't enough. have a black. I don't have a black with matte black trim. I know it was cool. Brian was totally drooling. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I didn't. We didn't mention uh, the reason you were giving me the evil eye during the auction. The last, oh. the last what? Several. Ten, fifteen lots. Mm, six or eight. Was it six or eight? I don't know. I, we we won six or eight. I know. Anyway. Is it maybe let's just say ten. What doesn't matter? The last ten lots were all essentially. Uh, I don't know if they're new old stock, but they're very clean. Um, Mont Blanc parts. Uh, and since we, we we're now a, a Mont Blanc dealer, we have we have customers who come in who have uh, Mont Blancs that are in need of repair. We thought maybe it would be a, a good opportunity to start getting some parts so that maybe we can um, we can help them repair the pens um, more cost effectively. Uh, and so I'm bidding on some of the stuff, and then all of a sudden I would stop bidding, and then you know and we were getting to the getting to the end of the auction. You know, here at once, twice. Lisa's looking at me and that raised an eyebrow. Boom. So yeah, we came home with with most of the most of the parts, um, you know, some nice caps and um, 
barrels and, and, and got some, some pretty stuff. Yeah, some pretty stuff and it got some really cool tips from uh, our good friend Carl Seidel, uh, who also got something for you, but I don't think you brought it home yet. It's in the toiletries bag, I think. <laughs> now, yeah. we talked a while back about Brian had gotten a Parker Vacumatic um, that had been turned into a handle for his razor. It's a razor handle. And Carl makes these. And so I fell in love with it. I think I stole it, actually, for a little while. And then um, he said he'd make me one. And so he delivered it to me in Philly at the show. And I have my own razor handle that takes, like, Mach 3 razors. Um, that is an Estabrook handle. So it's really cool. And I know someone had asked about his information a while back because he makes really cool retrofit stuff and um, shaving brush handles and razor handles and all this cool stuff. Which so his, cap actually at ball points out of vacuumatics. I mean, just he does really cool things with what would be useless parts, and it's just. And, and the quality of his work is wonderful. So his name is Carl Seidel, or Seidel and it's uh, Pens of Distinction. So we'll, uh, we'll put a, a link someplace or put it in maybe show notes or something. But um, send us an email if you want his contact information. But he does really cool stuff. I was excited. Um, he sealed up the lever so that you know when water gets on it, nothing's going to happen. But it, it's just really cool. And yeah. Brian's is gorgeous. Blue yeah. It's beautiful. But anyway, right. he's just incredibly talented. He's uh, very clever. Let's see. So what else, Sunday? Did we, we want to talk about? Sunday was entertaining. <laughs> so, yeah, Sunday was Sunday was was definitely slower um, than last year, but I'm I'm positive that, you know, people couldn't come to the show because of the weather. And a lot of people left early as soon as the roads opened so that they could um, make it back out. By the time that we closed the show and left, the roads were perfectly fine. Yeah. So we got very lucky. It was quite safe. A um, little bit of snow going through the mountains. But, uh, that was yeah, that was got about back it. yesterday afternoon about uh, 3 o'clock? 3 or 4. Yeah, about 3 o'clock, unloaded, um, showing Dave all the cool new stuff. And we'll, we'll show you some of the cool stuff next week, too, because we bought... Um, there's some new stuff out uh, that we got to see for the first time, so we grabbed some of it. Um, new products, new pens, um, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, some of it's really interesting. Made some progress on some stuff that's uh, going to be happening first quarter this year, I think. Um, oh yeah. It's just really yeah. killer. So it's going to be going to be a fun year for sure. Off to a good yep. start. In fact, we confirmed a couple things on the way back. Um, Brian was texting with uh, somebody. And uh, we confirmed a, a couple really fun things. So. Yeah. yeah, we did. So While we were gone, uh, are we jumping into what's new in yeah, the store? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's get moving right. on this. While we were gone, the brand new retro um, popper, the Forever, with the, uh, for Valentine's Day came out. And uh, so we got that in. Dave put it up on the site. We've already moved quite a bit of it. Um, that's pretty cool. They're cute. And yeah, I'll get some pictures up this week. So. Uh, they're little. They look like the little candy hearts on it, um, and then it glows in the dark. Oh, that's I, cool. That glows in the dark. We it glows in the dark. That's freaking cool. So you're gonna have to light it up and then turn off the lights and then take a picture. Oh, that's awesome. Totally. Different. I know. It's really cool. Um, so that was that was. Uh, fun, and we have some of the uh, Retro 51 Harley Davidson pens. Some of those are kind of cool. Yep, yep, and uh, we'll get those, get some pictures of, of those up this week too. Um, really, really kind of fun, fun, fun little. Uh, yep. The rollerballs, just like the, the Retro 51. So. Um, we picked up uh, some tool pens from Yaffa while we saw them. Uh, the fountain pens. We now have the red and the brand new. It's kind of funky. The orange with black. It's like a pumpkin. I know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Those are those are uh, team colors of 
who was that? Well, lots of people. My my home school was orange and black. Orange and so, blue was Syracuse. That's all I know. Uh, fountain pen and ballpoint, I think, on those. On the orange, right? I think so. I don't even know. We 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 ended, literally Ross walked over with this huge pile of pens. He just kept bringing pens as well. Yeah, it was great. Um, and then he he's like, all right, I got more. I'm just putting them in the boxes or whatever. So yeah. um, that was fun. Uh, we also picked up something. I know some new vintage uh, people are going to really be interested in. Um, I, I couldn't believe my eyes when Lisa brought these over to me uh, to show me. Um, for those of you who have Slim Targas. Which uh, I love. That's my next collection, by the way. Slim Targas? I love Slim Targas. Okay. Slim yeah, Targas are a, any slim 90s shape or pen that you, you can no longer get a cartridge for. The most asked question is, is what converter fits? Well, the obvious answer is it's the slim aerometric converter, which you can't find anywhere at all. Um, and we managed to come across a number of them. Now, the initial thought was, well, I'll just take them out of the pen and then look to sell the converter. But th th you can't do anything with the pen then because you can't get the cartridge. Um, so we're going to sell the pen. Them anymore. Yeah, they don't make them anymore. So we're going to sell the pen as the converter with a free pen. Um, Buy a converter or get a free pen. Get a free pen. And then they're nice. They're... Um, they're brushed stainless steel, um, and I don't know the model number. These are new old stock pens. Yes. Uh, brushed stainless steel with chrome trim, and the other ones are, correct me if I'm wrong, black. matte black with gold trim. I think so. I think so. But it's going to be random. Um, buy the converter, you get the pen for free. So uh, those are actually up on the site now. Uh, but if you if you need a, need a converter for a slim target, that's the one. Um, yeah. They are um. Amazingly believe, impossible to find. Couldn't believe you found those. I was just like... I'm that good. Uh, you are that good. Um, what else? We have... Uh, I think you've got something else over on your side. I, don't have any. Uh, I do. We um, got restocked in our leather, including the three-zip case that we have been out of forever. Yeah, they, they actually weren't going to make them anymore. Right. And we... We begged. <laughs> we begged. Come we, need on. Them. we need them. So, so. so we have the black now, and we will have the brown in about a month. Is that how, when it's going to be? I can't remember. So, yeah. uh, Those are back. Um, These are great. It's a perfect size. I like how um, compact they are. I like that they zip. That way nothing... Because I tend to put more. Like It holds three, but of course <laughs> there's a little space. So I put four, <laughs> and the zipper holds it all in place. Come on, They're I can't nice be the only one. Um, the leather is so soft. I love those. So those are back. Uh, I don't know if we got them up yet. Um, and, of course, the, 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 the Sailor Magellan here, I will put this up for sale. If somebody's interested in this, let me know. Um, okay. Otherwise, I'll just put it up on the site. Uh, what else you got? Uh, that new stationery that came in is up on the site. Uh, and then this week, a little bit of last week, all of this week, and I think a little bit of next week, we will be um, finally restocked in uh, quite a few things. Twisby just came in today. Not much, but a little. Um, yeah, orange. Yeah. So, uh, But we've got uh, some more of those Ziller dip pen nibs coming in this week and uh, quite a few other things. Yeah, the the uh, the Nico G is is popular. It's a yes. nice, nice, flexible dip pen. It's been really popular. Um, we've got some Visconti coming in, so lots, lots of stuff going on. So, yep. check it out. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Pictures will go up this week. Uh, shout outs this week. I want to do the first one. Uh, okay. Our, our good friends uh, Hugh and Carol can't be with us this evening um, due to some. Um, uh, things that they're going through, so um, just know what we're thinking of you, and um, there we go. Okay. Uh, I didn't know about that. Oh, well, I just found out. Okay. Moving on. Um, Hugh and Carol, you know we love you. We're, we're here for you. I have no idea what we're doing. Um, Steph, congrats on passing your exam. Uh, I knew you would, but... Um, 
Steph, but, Steph and I were going back and forth the whole weekend. Like, shouldn't you be studying? She was. She was. She was underlying stuff during the auction. She's like, okay, uh, not interested in anything for the next thirteen pieces. I'm going to underline. <laughs> and and Sunday she would leave, and maybe maybe even a little bit of Saturday afternoon she'd leave and she'd go study, but then she'd be back like half an hour later. Mm-hmm. That's studying. Yep, that's called lunch. But no, she. Uh, congrats on passing the test. Uh, we knew you would, but um, it was it was a lot of fun to tease her like like one of my kids like shouldn't you be doing your homework? Um, so that was cool. And um, while we were gone, uh, our phenomenal assistant he's he's actually like the man who runs everything. Uh, Dave had a birthday on Friday, so happy birthday, Dave! Couldn't do it without you. Uh, yeah, I actually was surprised we called him up. And uh, wish him a happy birthday at the show. So yeah, yeah, we left him a note in the fridge, and <laughs> we should have had like a little scavenger hunt for him to go find things. But we should have. That would have been fun. Next, Next time. Next year. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, what else we got? Uh, shout out to Angus, who was at the show, and David, um, Sabina. We missed you. Uh, usually Sabina is there. Uh, we got to see Ira, we got to see some um, uh, Tarumi stuff, of course. Uh, George was there, and let's see, George brought his mom and his sister. And some really and, cool pens, I might add. You know, it was funny, I was commenting, commenting to George that it was almost like he was either mad at you or avoiding you. I mean, he didn't have anything to sell you. He, he assured me that <laughs> I, the next time he saw me, he would. So I'm really a little concerned. Um, but uh, I did. I did get he's to see. He's taking it easy on you. He is. He's. 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 Yeah. He's working. He's working me hard. I think. <laughs> he did show me some really, really cool pens. I. I, I don't believe I had ever seen in person a, a Waterman horseshoe nib, much less uh, a number five horseshoe nib, and um, in the pen even. Um, awesome, awesome, uh, and he had two Heath overlays uh, that were just outstanding, outstanding work by an outstanding jeweler, um, very cool stuff, uh, always a pleasure to see what's in George's... Uh, to drool on George's pens. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty I mean, much. High relief overlays were just uh, yeah. lovely things. So. Uh, but, you know, it was family day for a couple of pen people. Um, George brought some of his family. Uh, we got to see Tim Hoffman, who's always a trip, and he brought his. I didn't, I didn't see him much. Yeah, he well, he was doing the family thing, but he had his sister Maggie there, and I don't remember his other sister's name. Um, and she brought her husband and their three boys, and his mom was there. Uh, it, it was just, it's always fun when you get to see the family members of your pen friends, and like I was talking to George's sister, who. Uh, now does use fountain pens, and so it's it's fun to to watch that slow conversion. Well, she was stocking up too, a couple of bottles. She, of ink she and, was. And, and George and I are sitting behind the table. We're standing there, and uh, and, and and she's on the other side, and she she kind of pe peers over the you know the ink thing that we've got going on there, and she goes, George, do I need micro mesh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's fun to watch the family members go from rolling their eyes and just shaking their heads to um, I want to go, let's leave early, and I need, here's my list. So it's just fun to see. Uh, and uh, a little shout out to um, Tim Girdler who can't be uh, in the chat. He was really disappointed. He just really has a good time. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, he, he's got a, it's, fun, it's always fun talking with Tim. He was right behind oh, us. Which was cool. Yeah. Um, he showed me a really cool way that he, he handles his repairs at the show, which I thought was really, really, really a neat. It's neat called process. organized. Well, it's organized, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, let's see, have we fully covered food enough to make everybody happy? I think so. I mean, I had a Philly steak, you know, of course, when I'm in Philly. I, mean, I think they doubled the size this year because this thing was huge. There is no way. There was, and we didn't eat, I don't think, on Saturday, did we? Was Saturday the day we didn't eat lunch? 
There's no way a human being can eat this whole thing. It's like... (laughs) It was big. It's like a foot long. It's two... Actually, it was more like two seven-inch long sandwiches that were just like stuffed full, and then this huge mound of fries. Um, The wings were not good. (laughs) Yeah, wings were a little disappointing this year, but... The mild was really, really hot. I don't remember them being that way last year, so I, no. we'll to try next week, next year, and we'll see. You know, we'll get the benefit of the doubt. Yep. Oh yeah, they'll earn our business back. Oh yeah, absolutely. They don't so. need to earn it. They, they have. No, it's great. And our, our we always have the same spur, and she's phenomenal. Um, so, shout out to Nicole. Yep. And uh, beer's go. good as always. So, it's making always, me yeah. had some. I know. Oh, that reminds me, I have wine over here. I guess I should. All right. It that's about it. We should go. All right, anything else? Crack it up for the week? I think so. My eyes are still kind of freaky. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, UG Pens, write to us at Anderson Pens, 10 East, College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. And remember, Inco Rimo is coming up soon. I got my first Inco Rimo letter today. I'm determined to at least sort of participate in that. I've got to send. Go ahead. I've, I've got to get some sent. I have to write to Stephen Brown's mother. Well, I, I think since I got one, I can start now. It'll count. If I can just get 30 letters done, 28 letters done, I'll be good <laughs> uh, Or you can catch us online, email, brian at andersonpens.com. Or at least at andersonpens.com. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and whatever other social media as Anderson Pens. Uh, the blog, of course, blog.andersonpens.com. And the website is andersonpens.com. Join our mailing list. Check out the blog for updates and new products or events in the store. Thanks so much for listening to our podcast. We will see you next week. Have a good night, everyone. Night.